So today we're doing a um, popular, very, very popular uh, vegetarian dish, my uh, vegetable curry. So uh, first, I'm gonna add, start with olive oil. Then we're gonna, just gonna get the burnt nut squash going. So this is a popular dish that takes, takes about 30 minutes to make. So normally I usually start with mushrooms to get the caramelization, but since I want some color on my butternut squash, we're gonna start with that first. So next we're just gonna uh, shift and knot some shiitake mushrooms. We add the mushrooms next. The first things first, we're gonna season with um, black pepper. The reason we do that is because we don't want to pull the moisture out of mushrooms. So we want to give them the opportunity to really caramelize and really get some flavor also. Just add a touch more olive oil. So now we're going to add some salt. Now here comes the fun part. I love adding the spices. We got half a teaspoon of uh, ground ginger, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. We got half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of uh, curry powder. Now you're gonna notice, as you can smell now, these flavors are starting to become uh, fragrant. The oils are starting to release out of the spices and make everything very happy. Out of it. So I just added um, one teaspoon of um, chopped garlic. Now we're gonna add the red peppers. So just, we're gonna dice one red pepper. Ooh, I wish y'all could smell this. It smells fantastic. Got the red pepper in. Slice half of a jalapeno. And finish it with um, half an onion, sliced. There you go. Turn the fire down to medium. So next thing is we're going to the glaze of the coconut milk. There we go. So we use uh, coconut milk and no vegetable stock. If you're fully vegetarian, you can use vegetable stock. If you're, it really doesn't matter. You can use, I prefer chicken stock. But today, since this is a vegetarian dish, we're gonna use vegetable stock. So we're just gonna fold this in and cook it for a good 15, 20 minutes. Then we just add your asparagus and your broccolini and um, some fresh cilantro and mint. See, check your seasonings and we should be ready to go. So now your, um, your vegetable curry has been cooking for 15 minutes. Next thing is we're gonna taste for adjustments. You know, taste where we are, taste what kind of seasonings. We need to add more or stick to where we are. But now, let's taste for a little bit. As you see, we just add a little touch of salt. Then we can work in the broccolini and the asparagus right at the end. And one of the most important parts, lime juice. You need the juice of two limes, which adds brightness to your dish. 
Just like adding lemon juice, lime juice works as well. And we'll cook this for three or four minutes and finish it with a uh, minute cilantro. Then this should be ready to go. Take about a quarter cup of cilantro and a uh, quarter cup of mint. Grab some cilantro right here. Get this chopped away. Now, if you're uncomfortable about using stems, you can pick the leaves, but I like to use the stems because there's some sweetness in the flavor of the stem. So, adds to the dish nicely. There we go. So, let's add this right at the top. Like I said, this is a very popular dish. If even if you're vegetarian, go grab this little fresh lunch or mint. Mm. For those who wonder, this is my vegetable curry, uh, broccolini, asparagus. Uh, we also have a little butternut squash, beef or spices to really complement everything. And psh, what can I say? Enjoy.